can get started. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So nice to be together and sharing this uh, special practice. So come to our hands and our knees, hands under the shoulder, knees will be right underneath your hips. Four corners of your spine and your torso just start to meander them. Side to side, one follows, the other one guides. They're going towards each other and away from each other. Experiencing space in front of you, to the right, to the left, space behind, beneath you, and also definitely the space above you. Puff up now between your shoulder blades and give it a little wiggle, wiggle. Upper back, mid back, the back of your rib cage. Feel like you're rubbing up against an invisible tree up there. Okay, side to side oscillation, side to side oscillation, cylindrical oscillation. Let's go for the inhale, puff up. And exhalation, the other half. Inhale, half circle, spreading of your fingers, and exhalation. This is your inhale, and here's that exhalation. Inhalation, like you're maximizing the mobility of the rib cage. Here's that exhalation learning to release. One more together, inhale, half. Relax your neck, exhalation, another half. Opposite now, cylindrical lubrication of that TOJ. Inhale, half. Exhalation, the other half. Look at the arch of your hand. Look at how your fingers and your hands respond to the articulation of your TOJ. A very important, friendly awareness there. Couple more like this. This is your inhale, puff up, relax your neck, exhalation. Then inhale again, and here's our exhalation. Once you return, crossing hold of your ankles, lie on your back, and patting underneath your spine if you need it. In the lazy of the fingers behind your head, ankles will be vertically straight. Pushing up now into the balls of your feet. Here we go. Inhale into your lower back. Holding on to that breath. Curling your tailbone skyward. Exhale. Go forward. Head and chest off the floor. Look to the navel. Hold your belly in. Squeeze. Hold one. Hold two. Hold three for me. And inhalation. Returning. Coming back. Deep breath. Hold that breath. Curling tailbone skyward. Exhalation through your mouth, head and chest come off the floor. The end of this exhalation, hold your breath. Hold two, hold three, hold four, hold one more for me, please. Inhalation, head will release. Exhalation, arms are well extended, fingers are low. So are your legs, deep breath through your nose. Hold on to that breath. Curling tailbone, sky high. Exhalation, elevate. Follow your hands. Look to the belly. Squeeze belly down. Hold two. Hold three. Hold four. Hold one more for me, please. Then inhalation, returning, coming down. Deepen that breath. Hold your breath. Curling tailbone, skyward. Exhale, head and chest off the floor. The end of that exhalation, squeeze down. Hold it, hold it, hold one more. Keep holding for me, one more holding. Inhalation, head will return. Deep breath, hold breath. Curling of the tailbone skyward. Exhalation again, head and chest come off the floor. The end of that exhalation, hold please. Hold two, hold three. Hold four, hold one more for me. Inhalation, returning down. One more, please. Hold breath. Tailbone skyward. Last one then. Head and chest off the floor, rounding. Shoulder blades come off the floor. Look to the navel. Hold one, hold two, hold three, hold four. Hold one more for me, then inhalation. Easy to do, returning. Feet will be right underneath your knees. Toes wiggle, wiggle. Arch of the feet are being well expanded. Turn the wrist out to the side, elbows under the shoulder blades. Pressing up your first bridge. Easy does it. 
Find that gentle oscillation in the base of your tailbone. So you learn to navigate, ease your way into that first bridge. Let's take your hands into the lower edge of the rib cage. Learning to breathe here. Inhale, puff up by your where your hands are. Get that breath going there. Exhalation, ground into the feet. We curl your tailbone just a little bit higher. Please don't force, but do do your best to get that inhalation going. Inhalation, rib cage unfolds, rib cage expands. Exhalation, whatever you do, activate your legs, please. Stepping now, your right foot into the midline. Exhalation, left knee up into the space, high above you. One-legged bridge, without the help of your hands, use your lower leg, which is your right leg, to help you. Firm that right knee towards the midline. Curl the tailbone towards the upper foot. Deepen breath. When the exhalation comes, take that foot up a little higher. One more inhalation, tailbone skyward. Exhalation, returning down, 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 down. Stay here with the upper leg straight. Interlacing of the fingers behind your head. Right knee aligned to the left. Bending of the right knee just halfway down, right? Deep breath, curl that tailbone skyward. Exhalation, a little twist. Left elbow towards your right knee. Hold on to that breath at the very end. Long breath. Look at the belly, pull down, especially the right side. Hold two, hold three, hold one more for me. Inhalation, have a release, coming back. Two more together, deep breath. Hold breath, curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, left elbow right knee. Hold your breath, pull your belly in, chin in. Hold it, hold it, hold one more for me. Inhalation will release. One more together, deep breath. Curl that tailbone skyward. Exhalation, left elbow right knee. Go gradually. So the delivery is very precise. Firm it, firm it, belly down, hold it. Inhalation, release. Exhalation, lowering down. Both feet will come back to the bridge again. Curling our tailbone skyward, feet will be parallel. Now the elbows under, hands to the edge of your rib cage. Get that inhalation going into where your hands are. Secure your breath awareness, learning to loop the breath into the designated area. So it's really the breath that forms the pose, that forms the intention of the pose. Here you have inhalation, learn to exhale Bend into the edge of your lungs, lower edge of your lungs. Exhalation, fire up your feet awareness, please. Firm that tailbone away from the shoulder. Let's step your left foot towards your midline. Just navigate into the midline. Right foot goes tail away from the tailbone, skyward. Fire up that upper foot as you press elevation into the upper leg. Stay here for me, deep breath, again into the rib cage. Exhalation, firm into that left knee, pivot that left knee towards the midline as you learn to curl your tailbone up towards the footwork. Look at that footwork, ankle is straight, all the digits of your toes are well extended. It's a very precise articulation, right? Deep breath into where your hands were again. Learn to breathe there. Keeping the tailbone curling up. Keeping the right foot up. Exhale, rounding upper back, mid back, lower back. Left knee elevates, align to the right. Left shin halfway fold. Interlacing of the fingers behind your head. Deep breath through your nose. Hold breath, curl that tailbone skyward. Exhalation, right elbow, left knee, look to the navel, hold down, firm that navel down, especially your left side. Hold your breath, power up that right leg, please. No breath, firm it. Inhalation, head down, no breath. Curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. 
Come up gradually. Please don't force it, but just do your best, please. Belly down, hold it, hold it. One more, inhale, head down. No breath, curling that tailbone skyward. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. The end of that exhalation, pull your belly in, chin in. Hold it, hold it, hold one more for me. Inhalation will release. Exhalation, lowering down. Both feet will come back towards the ground again. Turning the palms out, ground into the feet. Can we keep your hands to the edge of your ankles as you go up into your bridge this time? If the hands don't want to hold down to the ankle, just relax your hands out to the side. Otherwise, now the shoulder blades in, press into the feet, we go into one more bridge. Look at the rib cage. Learn to, it's a very precise articulation. Breath into the rib cage as you inhale. Exhalation, firm that tailbone skyward. Thighs are parallel, shins are parallel. Breath is slow and complete. Sternum, remember sternum breath you've been working on. Abdominal, navel gets the breath, your solar plexus gets the breath. Those three stations, please breathe into them, almost like you're lighting them up with light, with conscious awareness. Releasing of the fingers first, rounding them. It's a very precise thing. Upper back first, mid back, lower back, sacrum, tailbone is the very last one then to return. Bending of your knees, knees will be <clears throat> vertical, right above your hip. Separation of your knees out to the side. Flexion of your ankle, you have your upside down frog, which is a lot easier on your hips. All right, and the lacing of the fingers behind your head. Okay, just go for curling that tailbone up and down a bit without too much movement in your knees and in your shin. Notice the more your core can engage, the easier it is to articulate that tailbone. Here we have tailbone curls. Take a deep breath, please. Hold on to that breath. Curl tailbone skyward. Exhalation, here we go, head and chest off the floor. I know this is not pleasant, but there you are. Look down to the belly, firm that belly down. Hold it, firm it, hold it. Inhalation, head down. No breath. Curl that tailbone skyward. Hold it. Exhalation, please go slowly. No rush, because I'm gonna hold you here. Look to the belly, firm. Hold two, hold three, hold four, Hold one more for me, hold it. Third one, inhale, head down. Yes, you can do it. Hold on to that breath. Articulation of that tailbone, please. Exhalation, head, chest coming now off the floor. The end of this exhalation, squeeze the belly down, no breath. Hold it, hold it, please. Hold one more for me. Inhalation, returning. If you can do three, surely you can do four. Fourth times, deep breath, curl tailbone up. Exhalation, gradually, have patience. Every step of the way, just be as precise as you can get it to be. Belly down, hold one, hold two, hold three, hold one more for me. Inhalation. If you could do four, there should be one more. Deep breath. Hold breath, curl tailbone skyward. Exhalation, last one, I promise, head and chest off the floor. Hold breath, no breath, belly in, hold it. Hold one more for me, hold, inhale, gently. Easy does it, releasing down. Guide your knees to return, coming back to the center. Uh, use your hands to Oscillate in that very gentle circular rotation. Massaging the base of your sacrum, a little release for your core. Opposite rotation, opposite rotation, opposite rotation. How about arms out to the side? Without the help of your hands, circular rotation, 
Start to make the circle a little bit wider, but still have your knees be relatively above your hip so that you're utilizing your core to mark this circle. Opposite rotation, opposite rotation, opposite rotation, opposite rotation. Knees towards your torso, gently, pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Lumbar, sacrum gets a little stimulation there. Catching hold of your ankles, that will bring you coming into your hands and your knees. Okay, hands under the shoulder, knees underneath your hips. Toes will tuck. Inhale into your cow extension. Exhalation, your first downward facing, so go easy on that hamstring. Bend knees slightly, look towards the navel. Deep breath into the space between your shoulder blades. Exhalation, bend that left knee, shift now, pull into that right hip. Look underneath that right arm. Stay here for a moment, just favor the extension of that right torso, favor the extension of the right hip. Release on that exhalation. Look to the navel, left side, look towards your left side, favor the left side, a little bit of pulsation motion that the body needs, adding that gentle, gentle gy gyration to elongate the sacrum, left side of the sacrum, lower back region. Let's step now, ankles together. Right foot comes first. Inhale, looking forward and up. Look towards the space before you. Exhalation, right knee comes towards the forehead. Puff up between that shoulder blade. Stay here for me. Add a little bit of core engagement, please. Hold, hold, hold. Two more together. Fingers are well extended. Inhale, gazing forward. Align the shoulder above your wrist. Exhalation, knee into the forehead. Puff up, pull belly in. Round, in. Catch hold of that core engagement, please. Third set, inhale, look before you. Swing that back leg into your first lunge, lunging that foot forward. Back toes tucking, exhalation. Dip that tailbone up and down a little bit. Pulsation, 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 pulsation. Pulling of the back ankle, side to side oscillation. Almost like you're feeling for testing, testing. How is that hand uh, hip flexor doing? Okay, next one. Circular mobility, circular mobility, circular mobility. If this is too much, place your left knee onto the ground. Otherwise, opposite rotation, opposite rotation, opposite rotation, opposite rotation. Next exhalation, coming into your downward facing dog again. Stepping your ankles together. Come and walk your feet a little step forward. It'll be a little easier with the core engagement. Left foot goes behind you. Inhale, look forward and up. See if you can bring your shoulders right above your hands. Knee into the forehead, that's your exhalation. Point is to keep working on engagement of the core. Firming of the core, hold here for a moment. Left leg, inhale, same leg behind you. That's your inhalation, puff up. Knee into the forehead, exhalation, round knee into the forehead. Hold it, hold it, hold it for me. Third one, inhale, look towards the torso, uh, hands, severed, back foot, lunging that foot forward. Elongation into the back leg, pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Up and down first, and gently, Oscillatory motion, side to side. Ask that back ankle to be mobile for me. Right or left side, favoring the extension by the front of your femur joint there. Okay, clockwise rotation. Easy does it, clockwise rotation, clockwise rotation, anti-clockwise rotation, anti-clockwise rotation, anti-clockwise rotation. Stepping into the front foot. Glue now, both feet together, you have your first forward fold. Inhalation, halfway up. Bend knees slightly if you need to. Exhalation, hover forward, down, 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 down. 
yeah. Nice full circle as you come to the inhalation. Long fingers reaching up into the light right above you. You take that light into your heart. Relax your shoulders, elbows out to the side. Your first pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Letting go of all the habitual holdings. A little massage for all your nerves, all your limbs, all the muscle tissues and your tendons and your ligament. Let's mark ourselves in space. Horizontal opening out to the side. Be really tall. Activate your toes already, please. Exhalation, hands together. Ground into your center. On foam, this is your inhalation. Like you're diving upward into the heavens above. Midline, beginning of the breast, middle of the breast, ending of the breast. Lunging up, rising back. Knee on off the floor. There's your inhale. Further navel in, high lunge, people. Exhalation, midline. Plank, inhale. Hover, exhalation. Position, position, position. Upward dog or cobra. Firming of your legs, downward facing. Ankles, left ankle down. Right foot behind you. Go slowly, learn to firm from your thigh into the shin, into the ankle work. Right foot, lunging that foot forward. Lower knee on off the floor. Beginning of the breath, middle of the breath, ending of the breath. Returning, beginning, middle. Separate, forward fold. Unfold them, inhale, like you're ready for the sun. There it is, right above you. Take that light into your heart. Settle down, back to the midline, back to your root, back into your feet, back to the earth again. It's a continuous cycle between yourself and heaven and earth. There's your inhalation. Here now, exhalation. Precision, precision, precision. Left leg elongate, on off the floor. Beginning, middle, ending of your breath. Exhalation, beginning, middle. Activate your back leg already. So it is a seamless transition. Very precise. Very clean, very graceful, very intentional indeed. Firming into the leg to return. Firming of the navel already. Left leg, two, three, no rush, four. Keep going, all the rest of it. Exhalation, back knee on off the floor. Firm into the back leg as you liberate your hands. Open into the space above you. Exhalation. Go slowly. Firm into the front foot as you step forward folding. Intention is fulfillment of your solar plexus of your heart. Every time when you work with the sun salutation, right? Then you take that sun with your intention, with the ability to be aware, take that light into your heart. In between the sequence, we separate your hands out to the side. Match yourself to that sea of love around you. Yes, and exhalation, returning. Always return, pay attention to that beautiful, Mm, unique individuality of yours. Here's your inhale. You unfold again. You return again, over and over again. Then you recommit. You offer yourself again. You give yourself back to the river. The river of life. Marking light side first. Intention is in the midline. Even the way tracing the circle. Intention 
into the back leg, even you're going towards the front leg. Intention into the space above you, even though you're going downward. Intention in the space behind you, in all your back bends. Navel sealed from into the legs, downward facing. Right leg, two, no rush. Keep adjusting into that hip alignment, please. Ending of that breath. Square your hip, please. Right leg, keep it straight on its way forward, please. Back knee on the off the floor. Awareness of the midline as you trace that circle. Awareness of the light when you trace that midline. Firm into the back leg. Offer yourself in all of your forward fold. Inhale, beginning, middle, ending of your breath. Exhalation, beginning, middle, ending of the breath. Like you're charging your system with that light on Sunday at least. Should be every day, but at least on Sunday we come together. Exhalation, you offer yourself back to the river, that river of life. Left knee stepping on the off the floor. Inhale, firm your navel in, firm into the back leg, firm into the core, firm into the back of your legs. Open the collarbones, firm from the core into the legs. Firm into the core and into that left leg. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Keep the leg as straight as possible on its way forward, please. Lower knee on off the floor, beginning, middle. Go into the space behind you already, please. Ending of that breath. Midline, exhale, two, three, four, front. From the ankles, into your shin, into your knee, into your thighs, into your glutes, into your cores, solar plexus, your heart, your throat, into the crown, exhalation, center inward. Over and over again, you gather that leg. In between it, you find yourself in that horizontal frame. That is our humanity. Exhalation, wholeheartedly, you recognize yourself in front of that mirror again. On full, Practice in that way, like you're looking at yourself in your mind's eyes. See yourself in its full clarity. So when you're about to offer, you know exactly what you're offering, right? You know exactly the essence, the meaning of this prayer that you deliver with your body and breath. Everything is clear. Everything is well prepared. Everything is precise. Everything is full of intentions. Firming that intention of the body to return. Intention now is in the right leg. Be powerful in that right leg. Be powerful in the way you navigate your alignment. Be precise as you walk the back foot forward. Be precise in matching yourself in alignment awareness, in the core awareness, and of course, finally, in the midline awareness. Forward folding, crown comes down, we return. Inhale, on full again. 
the flowing of the water in the ever living fountain. The rising and the setting of the sun upon its way. Left side. The wide encircling of my own horizon, heaven above and the earth beneath my feet. The root that rises to stem, leaves stay here and flowers and the falling of the seed. Left leg, the root that rises to stem, leaf and flowers. Keep it straight on your way forward. Sense of continuous, this forever living fountain in your, at least in your mind body. Navel seals, we reach right now. Center again. So three sun salutation a day keeps the blue away. On full into the heavens above. You take that light into your heart. Eyes closed here for a moment, sensing your own pulsation. Understand what your nervous system is doing. Check in, check in, check in. Learn to scan the body as quickly as possible and learn to slow down your own nervous system. Okay, deep in that breath. Exhalation, let's step out into your straddle. Feet apart, uh, heel to heel alignment. Deep in that breath to your left side. That is your exhalation. Internal rotation, internal rotation, internal rotation. Deep in that breath into the space in the front. Both hands will come with. You have your first forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhalation, bending of your elbow, shoulders down, forward folding. Release, release, release. Inhale, arch your forward. Exhalation, walk it to your right side. Take now, left hand above you. Internal rotation. Internal rotation. Internal rotation. One more. Internal rotation. Turning of the top hand up behind you. Take a little detour, going into a little bit of back bend, firm your legs before you resituate back to the center. Deep breath, exhalation to your left side. Release, down, down, down. Take that hand behind you, spreading of your fingers, nice and wide. Take a little detour, returning. Going to your right side, exhalation to your right side. Take a little detour going now into the space behind you, behind you, behind you. Exhalation, one more on this side. That's your exhalation. Take it into the space behind you, behind you, behind you before you return. Deepen that breath. Exhalation going now. Both hands in the front without taking your fingers to the ground just in front of you, halfway forward. Now, internal rotation of those hands. Meanwhile, you're trying to get those rib cage becoming as well elongated as possible. Lengthen, and lengthen, and like you're going to trash in your spine without an object. One more deep breath, exhalation, hands will come down. Halfway forward, exhalation, rotation to your right. We come to your lunge again. Inhale, tailbone halfway up. Exhale, deliver that tailbone down. Okay, right hand comes, inhale, right hand behind. Exhalation, right hand going forward. Inhale, exhale. This one you know, continue, but some of you, both hands will follow. Exhalation, reach, inhale. 
and exhalation like you're remembering again. Inhale, exhalation. One more, inhale, exhalation. One or both hands skyward, look straight ahead. Learning to pull that ankle away from the shoulder. One more deep breath, descend that tailbone down. Lengthen diagonally halfway down first before you release. Lower knee towards the floor. Flexion of that top ankle. Click that right hip back slightly. Halfway forward, inhale. Exhalation through the mouth, forward folding. Down, down, down. Inhale, halfway up. Shake out that front leg if you need to. Otherwise, going shoulders down, forward folding. Descend, descend, descend. One more, inhale, halfway up. Exhalation into that forward fold. Shoulders will release. Walk that left hand forward a little more. See if you can breathe into the left side of the rib cage, pulling that right hip back slightly. So the right hip and your left shoulder are a pair. Opposite sides. Breathe into those two corners. One more deep breath there. Exhalation, right foot stabilizes. Left foot elevates, not behind you. One leg in, your first one leg extension. Inhale, look forward up. This one you know, exhalation. Left knee into the forehead. Lower heel on or off the floor. Hold it. Engagement in the core. Same leg, inhale, reaching open. Activate the back leg, please. Exhale, knee into the forehead, puff up, lower heel on or off the floor. Close the distance between the knee and the forehead. Hold here, firming of the navel. Third one, inhale. Fingers out, your warrior three variation. Stay for me. Fire up that back leg. Inhale into the back of your heart. Exhalation, lower of your hands. Back toes towards the ground. Rotation to that left side. Back to your straddle. Check your alignment. It's a heel to heel alignment. Heel uh, behind you, look forward. Exhalation, bending of your left knee. Flexion of your right ankle. Your left foot should be nice and straight. Drives me crazy when you nurture your ankle in the, all this lopsided uh, alignment stuff. Okay? <laughs> Elevate your hip if you need to, on the pillow or onto the ground. Okay, right hand behind you. Left hand, internal spiral. Use the internal extension to work on liberating the whole left side of the rib cage. Inhale deeply. Exhalation in front of you, in front of your shin. Strap or Fingers will connect behind you. Deep breath, ground into the front foot. Elevate into the space above you. And exhalation, diagonally forward folding. Just come to that place. Some of us need a little bit oscillatory or a little up and down uh, pulsatory motion to navigate. But if you're used to it, stay down and learn to direct the breath all the way down towards the lower lumbar region. If this spine is too complicated, just walk your hands forward. Use your hands to show you, to help you, how to work with the gravity going forward and down. Those of you who's got spinal injuries, breath needs to get reinvigorated. You need to know how to ignite your um, injured areas with very powerful intention in the way you breathe. Without power, your healing intention is a little weak on the weak side. 
So the more you can concentrate your mental focus, the more energy you have, because energy goes where your mind is, right? This is what I mean by powerful. I don't mean pushing, or I don't mean loud, breathe loud, no, just in, intensify your ability to work with your focus. Okay, soften a little bit before you release. Stay here for me. Right hand in front of that left ankle. Left arm, again, is the spiralic intention, like the tree growth that gives you almost unlimited ability to elongate. Then we go to the right side. So some of us need a little more of this navigation. Some of this of us need this up and down navigation. Or if you're used to it, upper hand to the outer edge of your right foot. So uh, oftentimes I would appreciate to have navigation rather than use a strap, as you remember. Yeah. So for today, why don't you use navigation rather than strapping yourself? Strap is wonderful, but sometimes you learn how to rely on it a little too much. Okay. So that sort of sometimes takes you takes your ability to work with your mm, the vocabularies your body is able to exercise. Okay, if you have your hand to the foot, can you navigate that upper elbow? Almost like you're pivoting that elbow into the space behind you a little bit. And if it doesn't bother your neck, maybe look up. Deep breath, all the way to the left side of the rib cage. Meanwhile, this footwork is a very clear intention, isn't it? Everything is clear, everything is rather clean. One more deep breath, release your right foot. Elongate on your way back. Keep elongating as you ground into the lower foot. Heel to heel alignment again. Inhale, arching, rib cage forward. Exhalation, bending of the elbow, shoulders down, forward folding. Walk your hands away from your head. Let's come into that forward fold. Use this one to neutralize everything, please. Letting go, a very humble place, and we breathe into the back of your shoulders, into your mid-back. When the exhalation comes, can you curl that tailbone up a little higher? One more deep breath. Exhalation, we release our hands. Rotation to your left side. Okay, high lunge here, back toes will tuck. Halfway up, inhale. Exhalation, tailbone, gently going down, down, down towards the space beneath you. Again, inhale, halfway up. Exhalation, tailbone coming down. Take left hand with you. This is your inhale. This is your exhale. Facing forward across the river. Look over there. Inhale. Exhale. Scan that back foot. If you have the permission, both hands. Exhalation. Inhale. Navel in, exhalation. Two more deep breaths. Swing that forward. Inhale, exhalation. One more. Exhale, lower knee on off the floor, one of both hands. Look straight across, tailbone forward and down. Make that back ankle be responsive. Deepen that breath right into the right side of that hip flexor. Inhalation deeply. Lengthen halfway first before you release. Right knee set. Flexion of the top ankle. Squaring of your hip, please. Halfway forward. Exhale, bending of the elbows, shoulders forward down. Release. Just your first one, so go easy on the body. Halfway up, inhale. Exhalation, forward fold. Shoulders going down. Third one, inhale. Right hand extends forward. Left hip pulls back. On your way down, focusing on these two opposite corners. 
back of the right shoulder and the articulation of that left hip. Because your energy travels in a diagonal thread. When you breathe, take them together, these two corners. There is a traction feeling that happens in that whole right hand. One more deep breath. Bending of the front knee, front foot will set. Right leg comes then behind you. That's your inhalation. Very precise, a very clean articulation with that right foot lift. Inhalation, look forward and up. Exhale, right knee into the forehead. Lift that lower heel off the floor, puff up. Firm into the core. Make this a core engagement, please. Two more, inhale, take that back leg away from the sternum. Next time, knee into the forehead. Round spine, puff up, knee into the forehead. Hold it, core engagement, please. Third one, inhale, reaching open. Elongate, elongate, elongate. Next time, knee into the forehead. Puff up, belly in, stay for me. Inhale, same leg, far behind you. Intention throughout the whole leg. Bending of the front knee, exhalation, passing through your straddle. Bending of the right knee, going to the right side. Flexion of the left ankle. Before you come all the way down, just make sure this right foot is in a good alignment, okay? On the lift or onto the ground. Left hand behind you, right hand now, internal spiral. Use this extension to elongate the side of the rib cage quite a bit. Meanwhile, invite that knee to go to the side, reaching your hand in front of you. In front of that shin, you reverse your elbow fold. Use this grab if you need to, grab into this right foot. Inhale, lifting. And exhalation, just navigate in your own way. Navigate with your crab either side to side or in that kind of an ostrich motion. Some of us up and down motion, right? If going down all the way down suits you, then go all the way down. So come to that place where you can really focus on the fullness of your breath, the steadiness of your breath. And then you start to use that, you write on that and learn to build a better way to um, clarify your intention, please. In your mind's eyes, you know where you're breathing into. And remember on Sunday, instead of breathing in air, you breathe it in light. Just focus on one spot at a time. Nine, that which is life-giving, peace-giving, nourishment-giving. You align yourself with that. Stabilize of the right foot before you return, coming into the center. Right foot stabilizes, left hand to the front of that ankle. Right arm again, it's that internal spiral, right? Away from the right knee, out to the left. Give it a try, give it a try, give it a try. This is that side extension you had it. Some of us, it's this up and down motion you are needing. Okay, your left foot is waiting. So if your hand is wet, ready, catch hold of the left foot. If you have your hand to a foot, let the upper elbow do a little navigation. Like it's aiming into the space above and behind you a bit. 
It is a deep stretch. So go easy on uh, your ambition. More full, full breath, full of breath, full of mindful awareness. If it doesn't bother your neck, look up towards the elbow. Meanwhile, your right leg is staying close to his intention, alignment awareness that is. Deepen the breath. Use your own body to create this beautiful traction. Do the best you can. Release your right hand first. Right hand will come up. See if you can utilize your core instead of your hands to return. Heel to heel alignment. Arching ribcage forward, deep breath. Exhalation, bending of your elbows. In this forward fold, this will be your resting station. Crown on off the floor. Please check your elbow alignment. Breathe between your elbows, between your shoulders. Meanwhile, learn to firm the core as you curl that tailbone skyward. Inhale, halfway forward. Exhalation, rotation to your right side again. Okay, top of your knee to the floor. Top your ankle to the floor. Hands either side of the front foot. Inhalation, lower knee off the floor. See if you can learn to squeeze into that back leg. Exhalation, release. Give it a couple more try in your own way. Firming of the lower knee off the floor. That means raise the base of your femur bone. Raise the action of the back of your leg and the top of that ankle. Looking down or look straight forward. Some of you, one finger off the floor, another finger off the floor. Some of you, you're used to me, hands above you. So obviously the alignment of your hips is important. The tension of your spine is important. Otherwise you can't really power up that back leg. One more inhalation there. Diagonally forward, exhalation, returning down. Okay, articulation of this knee, up and down a bit. Okay, just up and down a bit. Use the nice padding for your knee, please, if you need to. Just articulate this for now. Flexion of the top ankle. Pull that right hip back, toes towards you. Inhale, halfway up. Exhalation, remember, right hip and left shoulder. Go at it so you can elongate these two corners on your way down. Deepen that breath. Exhalation, right foot set. Left leg horizontally away from the shoulder. Push far with the ball of the back foot. Internal rotation. Exhale. Inhale, half circle. Navel in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Navel in. Exhale. External rotation. Inhale. Exhale. If this is too much, just bend your knee. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhalation. Right leg behind you, look forward and up. Bending of the front knee before you release. Lower knee towards the floor. Squaring of the hip, right foot towards you. Halfway forward. Exhale, shoulders down, forward folding. Stay here or second stage, you come to your half uh, heel pose. Full extension, people, please go easy on the body. Use good padding underneath the right hip if you need to, coming to whichever extension the body allows. Okay. Work with the pulsation of the front leg if you need to. Inhale, press into the finger, doesn't matter where you are. Click that right hip back. Remember, left shoulder and the right hip talk to each other. Keep working with that traction. Forward folding, releasing down. 
Curl your tongue or your lips, make a little circle. Inhalation through that little stool. Exhalation through the mouth, all the air out through the mouth. At the end of your exhalation, firm the navel in. Working on engagement of your inner body, continuation of that core work that you have established earlier. Inhalation through that little circle. Exhale through your mouth, all the air out. The end of that exhalation, firm the navel in, hold your breath quite, quite a bit. Firm into the navel, hold on to that breath. Relax here. One more inhale through that little circle. Exhale through the mouth. Hold, 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 holding on to the core. Next inhalation, we release. Front foot comes to the floor. Glide your right shoulder then underneath that knee. Higher the better. The articulation of your right elbow is important. Okay. Good padding underneath that lower knee, please. Catch hold of the right foot, like you're possessing that foot in towards the body. Squeeze it, or take the foot diagonally to the side. If this doesn't come yet, use a strap, or just work on squeezing that knee into the shoulder. Just develop a relationship between these two areas. Deepen that breath. One more inhalation. Exhalation, we release. Okay. Once you release, come to the forward into your straddle again, heel to heel alignment. Inhale, arching of the torso halfway up. Exhalation, right hand is going to catch hold of your left ankle, outer edge. Left arm goes skyward. Maybe this right elbow will come towards the ground. Bend your left knee and elbow, left hand to the inner edge of the thigh, of your right thigh. Relax your neck. Deep breath. Some of you arch the rib cage towards your right leg. It's a very subtle articulation, but it can be done. Your lower back, that means tailbone articulation, is very present here. One more deep breath. And exhalation, returning, neutralize. Rotation to your left side. Lower knee towards the floor. Hands either side of the front foot. Top of your back foot is on the ground. Then inhale, lower knee off the floor, firm it. Exhalation, release. Inhale, firm that lower knee off the floor. Squeeze into the femur, the head of the femur. Exhalation, release. Third one, stay. Activate the top of your back foot, please. Look straight ahead. Use your fingers to support your balance or one finger, another finger, one hand at a time off the floor. Some of you take both hands skyward. It is an internal spiral of your shoulder on your way up. Relax the shoulder as you go internal. Testing, testing with this one. Wiggle, wiggle a little, a little too tense up there. Deepen that breath. Learn to seal the navel in as you exhale. 
One more deep breath. Diagonally forward before you release. Okay, testing, testing. Do we have easy on that knee articulation in that back knee? Okay, release the back shin. Flexion of the top ankle. Left hip and that right shoulder, right? Inhale, halfway up. Exhalation, right hand forward, left hip back. Release, pull shoulder down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhalation, deliver, shoulders coming down, release. Inhale, halfway up. Stepping into the front foot. Okay, right leg, halfway back. Flexion of the foot, internal rotation. Natural exhalation. Stay true to the midline, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Reverse, external rotation, exhale. Half circle, inhale, half circle, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Right leg behind you, look forward. Fingers on or off the floor. Come to your warrior three variation. Deep breath, fingers first, bending of the front knee, lower knee towards the floor. Flexion again of the top ankle, halfway forward, inhale. Exhalation, shoulders coming forward, first edge. Second stage, come to your seat. Third stage, front foot away from the shoulder. Walk this leg away from the shoulder. Just do the best as you can. Inhale, press into your hands. It doesn't matter where you are, halfway up. Exhalation, fingers forward, shoulders down. Release, release, release. Then inhale, halfway up. Let go, exhalation. Stay, work with your breath work. Through that little circle, with your tongue or with your lips, inhale. Exhale through the mouth, all the air out through the mouth. Hold breath from the core engagement, please. Relax first. Inhale through that little straw again. Exhale through your mouth, all the air out through the mouth. Hold at the end of your exhalation, no breath. Firm into the core. Last one, inhale through your circle. Exhale through the mouth, all the air out through the mouth. The end of this exhalation, firm into the core engagement, please. Hold, hold, hold. Neutralize the breath. Next inhalation, easy does it. Walk your hand, neutralize back into that lunge. Left shoulder swings underneath that thigh, as high as you can get them to be. Articulation of that left elbow is important. Close distance between the foot and the torso is important. Stay here, just work out building their <laughs> relationship. Okay, otherwise, with or without the strap. Slide the head between the arm and the leg. You did these guys lie on your back last week. Okay, deep breath into the right shoulder, into the right elbow. So the footwork, see if you can activate that footwork. One more inhalation, exhalation, release. Once you release, rotation, heel to heel line on the end. Inhale, arch it forward, halfway forward. 
Exhalation, walk your hands away from the shoulder. Crown comes down, you have your forward fold again. Okay. Head stand, people. Walk your hands underneath your shoulder. Elbows will be parallel. Take your head to the ground. Head stand, people. Let's try. Your spine should be feeling strong after all the leg work. Now you go into a headstand, into your straddle. Four full people, walk your hands as far away from your shoulder as possible. Uh, headstand people, join your feet. That is your exhalation. Ankles together, firm into the core. Breathe. Doesn't matter where you are, breathe. Power up of your legs. Use the navigation of your core to walk your feet diagonally to the side again. Heads down, people. Doesn't matter where you are, next exhalation, come back to straddle. Inhale, halfway forward. Exhalation, when you land, close hold of your ankles, then on your knee, that will give you the transition to come back to your seat. Bring your shoulders back, you have your boat. Tailbone, diagonally down and lift up to the sternum. If this is okay, hands together. Right. Perk up into the sternum, look up. Like someone's got a hold of your wrist and your ankle. Deepen that breath. Exhalation. We release. Lie on your back. Knees towards you. Pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. If you're not doing headstand, you go for your forward fold. Okay. Headstand, people. How about your plow and lacing of your fingers behind you? Uh, sorry, shoulder stand. Plow people, see if you can release your tailbone away from your knees a little more. Almost like you're, att you're attempting forward fold rather than your plow. Shoulder stand people, hands to your lower back. Both legs staggered or one leg at a time into the space above you. That is your exhalation. Stay here. Some of us stay here. Head, uh, shoulder stand people, right foot towards you, halfway down. Left knee bends behind you. Bend that left knee. Stay here. Work on split upside down or take your left foot down. Inhale, right leg skyward. Remember you, this one you came in earlier, very beginning of the class. You have done efficient enough leg work for this to sustain itself up in the air. Use the exhalation to regather head, shoulder stands again. Left foot towards you. Either go for a split in your shoulder stand or bend your right knee away from the body. Stay or bend your right foot down. Find the ground, left foot away from the body. This is what you did in the very beginning of the class, remember? Shoulder stand people. Leverage on that upper foot to return. Shoulder stand people back to your plow. Shoulder stand people, bend your knee to the outer edge of your ears. Stay or wrap your arms over the back of your thigh. 
and breathe. Okay. If fish is not a good place for you, go back into your bridge. Otherwise, in the lacing of the fingers behind your head, I mean behind your back, firming of the elbows in. From the plow, you're going to come into a reclining extension with your feet together, legs straight. Fish people press into the elbows, articulation as you lift your chest line above your shoulders. Deep breath into the collarbones, solar plexus region, navel region. All those three centers you've been working on recently, remember? Exhalation, ease your way out of that. Let it go. Hands out to the side. Knees above your hips. Use the core to mark your figure eight with your knees. Mm -hmm. So use this one to release tension from your shoulder stem, from all the leg work from all the lower lumbar stuff. Meanwhile, you learn to neutralize while activation of your core strength again. Reverse your eight, please. Reverse your eight. Just be intuitive about it, you'll get it. Initially, it does feel funny when I ask you to reverse your eight, but you realize it's something that's rather very natural and intrinsic to the body. Use your core to mobilize that. Okay. Exhalation. Right knee on the top. Knees to the left, spinal twist. Left hand over your knee. Throw hold of your shin as well if the body is comfortable with it. Look over to the right hand. Heel of your left hand is going to come to the crest of that hip. Encourage a little distance between your hip and the navel. Give yourself one more adjustment and encouragement to elongate. And breathe into the area the body is calling for. So why don't you do a little extra of this at the end of tonight as a homework, right? Inhale, release your hands. Use the core to return your legs. Second side, left knee on the top. If the body is comfortable, thread hold of your shin. Use the core to deliver your knees to the right. Right hand braces the knee down. Look over to your left, left palm. Adjust your left hand to a perfect height that's necessary for you to feel optimum extension. Heel the right hand comes to the crest of your left hip. Now encourage the corner of that hip to extend and elongate. Come to that perfect situation. You feel like you're optimizing that spinal twist and the extension of the sides. Breathe deeply, breathe fully, breathe slowly. Remember this one, repeat this at the end of the night, that will be your homework today. One more deep breath. Release your hands first. Use the core to return your knees back to center. Unwinding. 
Tailbone up a little higher before you let go of your hips down. Feet out to the side, flexion of your ankles. Take a moment, adjust your shoulder blades under, shoulder blades slightly higher, take the shoulder blades under. Palms away from the body. How about a little nourishment for your energy system? Right hand to the navel, left hand to the heart. A little extra nourishment so you can go out there because peace begins with you. Inhale, heart offers its openness to your left, left receives. Exhale, right hand gives back to the root of your energy body, right by your umbilicus cord. Inhale, left hand receives the opening of your heart. Exhale, right hand offers the warmth of your hands. Meanwhile, noticing muscles around your eyes completely relaxed. Facial muscles completely relaxed. The flesh of your lips, the bridge of your nose, everything, everything, everything. See if you can come to that place. where you just feel like you have surrender already. After all, we put in all these hard work because we know nothing is for granted, right? Not your health, not the clarity of your mind, not your mental strength. Everything deserves a little acknowledgement, a little encouragement, a little polish all the time. So take a moment to acknowledge all that you just did. Notice how that changes the fullness of your breath when you pay homage to your own effort. Totally changes your vibration. See if you can feel that. It shows in the way you breathe. It shows in the way you behave towards yourself and towards the other. With that, gently release your hands Guide the knees to return back to the center. Either from side to side or straight returning back to your seat. However you come back, uh, a natural wiggle wiggle to find the right left, right in the middle of it. There's our uprightness. Okay, fathom that light as you close your eyes. Fingers, let them be like antennas. They reach out for your highest aspiration, the highest good, the brightest light. And exhalation with such a tenderness, humbleness, you take that light into every aspect of your being. Unfold, 
you know that we can always be stronger, always be brighter, always be a little more taller, always be a little more upright. Then you embellish your core with that notion. You can always be better. It's always possible. You encourage yourself with that awareness. Last one. Goodness is on my right, on my left. Goodness lives behind and before me. Goodness is above me. I fulfill that. Goodness lives within me. Goodness is beneath me. Take a moment to acknowledge the core of your being. Inhale, you pay homage to that. And exhalation, there is you out into the world. You are ready. Thank you everybody for sharing your wonderful mindful attention and your precious practice every week. I look forward to seeing you all every day. I mean, every week, next time. Bye everyone. Ooh, I'm not sure.